Hello everyone, citizens of Video Game Land. I am Sightless Combat, accessibility consultant and gamer without sight. Welcome to a world where one rule is apparent above all else. The factory must glow. The factory must glow. The factory must glow. <laughs> because, yes, everybody, welcome to Factorio. I didn't ever think I was going to be able to say that. Thanks to an amazing mod by the wonderful Crimzo. Uh, currently in beta, there will be links to buy the game and download the mod in the description below. Uh, you can now play Factorio using a screen reader, as I'm about to demonstrate. A lot of people have asked how this works, so I thought I'd throw together a very quick demo video to see if I can show a few of the mechanics off. So the idea of Factorio is it's a sort of base factory building survival type game where you want to keep your factory ticking over, researching new things, uh, which you can't currently do in the build I'm running because uh, that is not available yet uh, as of the time of recording, though it probably will be by, you know, by a few days after this video goes out. No, no, uh, you know, probably no issue there. Uh, so, the way this works is there are WASD to move. And as you just heard, copper or resource, copper or resource copper. which you can mine by holding X. And of course, this is the slowest method of taking materials out of the ground. We are playing on peaceful mode, for those of you who are interested. So there are no enemy combatants kicking around for us to uh, be hampered by. But the first thing we want to do is we want to build a wooden chest. You will see why later. So what we want to do is we want to find trees. There's lots of keyboard shortcuts and things that you have to remember because as a gamer without sight, having no sight whatsoever, you you know generally a mouse isn't a thing copper, that copper. I personally use, unless it's absolutely necessary or it feels right for the game, and uh, is viable. So what we're going to do, we're going to press page up, uh, we're going to press control, resources, page up and page down. All resources, containers. So we're going to go to resources. Resources. Uh, this is not the rate I normally use a screen reader at for anyone who's interested. I use it at a much higher rate, which I will show off later at the end of the video. We're going to press end to refresh the sort of bar, I guess, of resources. So we're going to press page up and page down on their own. Water 40, iron ore 7, coal 9, stone 9, stone, water, copper ore, copper ore 0 south. And copper ore 0 south basically means we're standing on top of it. So we're going to have to go out and find some wood red, 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 desert, red, 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 by just moving red, around red, red, here. Red, 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 because we only have in our inventory, if we look in our inventory, we press E. Inventory. Then it opens up this menu. Stone furnace X1. WASD. Burner mining drill X1. So we have a drill. Stone furnace. We have a stone furnace. Wood X1 raw resource. We have one wood. Copper or X10 raw. And we have M. 10 copper that we've just mined. If we press tab. Crafting. We can go to crafting. Automate. And we're going to Burnery. scroll over to, or well, down Inside and over. Pipe, pipe, small burner, my to where we can Cement, see. Iron, light, this, red, fire, water, copper, copper, iron, 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 water, copper. Where do we go? Pipe, pipe, small stone, truck, wooden, burner, insert, wooden, chest, crafting, logistics, zero. So it says crafting, logistics, which is the category, zero, meaning we can't craft any. So if we press, uh, if we press. Wood X2. K, you hear wood X2. So if I close Menu the inventory. Closed. Water for iron or echo one stone one stone stone keep, copper or copper or four. Keep pressing copper or page up and page down as we move. There is a hundred by hundred square box around me, which is my sort of field of vision. I guess you could describe it as trying to move iron or coal stone stone one copper or four iron stone one hundred and fourteen northeast. I don't know why it's saying in northeast. We can head that way. Tree! Tree! So if we press and hold X. And now if we look at it again. Yeah. So we've just killed a tree. That, thankfully, is the one tree we needed. Because we now have... We have five wood, so we have enough to make two chests. So, the first object is usually... Well, for me, in my test run that I did, and I've been working with, it was to go and mine some coal. Stone, iron or coal, 98 northeast. 98 northeast. That's a long way. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to use the cursor mode. So we're going to enable the cursor with I. Cursor enabled. And we're going to click through all the geometry as we move forward. We can't hold this down, unfortunately. But we can actually teleport to these trees. So we're going to press T. We're going to disable the cursor. And we're going to... Oh, it didn't actually teleport me. I thought it would. Um, doesn't matter. We can still maneuver our way. Water 70, iron ore, copper ore 70, copper ore 72 northeast. The movement is a bit finicky, I will admit. But I try and just chop down the trees as I see them. Oh, and sometimes you'll hear it say flying text, which is pretty amusing if you chop down a tree. 32, minus 35. So that's coordinates as well. So if you hear numbers like that, that's coordinates. Cool. So we just head east. Iron ore resource. 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 Iron ore you know, easily find your way around eventually. So, what we want to do first is we want to place the drill. Coal resource. So, we have our, our drill in our inventory. So burner mining drill X1 we, if, I say left, if I say left click, I'm referring to left bracket, but it's just uh, closer to normal vernacular, which is why I chose to use the turn of phrase. So, we're going to left click on our drill. Empty slot. Empty slot means we've got it in our hand. We're going to then go out of our inventory with E Menu closed. and then we're just going to drop the drill on the ground with left click Burn a mining drill, mining drill. so uh, the problem with the mining drill is there is no fuel so what we're going to do is we Burn can mine coal. the coal underneath it very briefly oh no it just let me pick up the drill Red that's fine we can, we can put it down again in a minute so we've cycled through to the coal with F and we are mining it uh, furiously with uh, rather wild swings uh with x please uh please do note as well this is the only mod i have installed this is the only one so this is essentially vanilla factorio i know a lot of people play like space exploration and things like that we should have enough cards to do the demonstration though so let's drop the drill again so click the drill go out of inventory drop the drill now the fun begins because why isn't the drill doing anything? Well, that's because it needs fuel. So what we can do Burner mining drill. is we can left click the drill after we've cycled through to it with F. F is cycle through the things that are underneath you, for lack of a better way of putting it, or on the same square as you. One output. So it says one output. That means there is one slot for a stack of items to go in. So stacks vary by size. So they can be 50, they can be 100, they can be... 10 i'm not sure there are, there are varying sizes of items i'm still learning this game myself but i thought i'd share the knowledge i've gained so far so one output we can't do anything with that at the moment because there's nothing coming out of the other end of the drill so if we press tab one fuel one fuel hmm wonder what could go in there press tab zero modules zero modules not really sure what that is yet zero burned zero burned also not really sure what that is yet but the Factorio wiki is proving a very enlightening resource. There will be a link to that in the description of the video as well. Player inventory. Player inventory, right. We'll next so we we'll we'll scroll resource. across to our coal, which we have 13 of. And we're going to press left bracket. Empty slot. To click. One output. One fuel. And we're going to tab over using the tab key to fuel. And we're going to plunk that in with a left click. Coal X13. And now you hear the drill just whirring away. We're going to close our inventory. Menu closed. And eventually, though, the drill is just going to stop. Now, the reason that is, is because the item that is just spat out at the other end of the drill is on the ground blocking the exit of other items from the drill. So, remember I said about a chest? Well, we're going to craft it now to hold everything that comes out the other end of the drill. You'll see how this works in a second. So, let's craft the chest first. So, if we go into our inventory... Inventory. And we can press tab. Crafting. To go to crafting. Now, there's a big load of uh, options here. 
uh, which you will also unlock more of as time goes on. Automation, Cyberner, Inserter, Crafting, Logistics, Zero. So Logistics is the category we want. Automation, Science, Pack, Crafting, Intermediate, and, Product, Zero. And just to show you that, uh, you know, Science, Packs, and things. Burn in science chest. So we're going to scroll across to the right of the Logistics category. Pipe, Craft, Pipe, Small, Stone, Brick, Trans, Wooden, Burner, Wooden, Chest, Crafting, Logistics, Four. Until we see Wooden Chest. Crafting, Logistics, category once again. Four, meaning we can craft four. We only need one at this point. So we're going to press uh, left bracket or just left click it to craft. Wooden chest crafting logistics three. Hear that? That means we've crafted it. So now we can close Menu out closed. of the inventory. Now, this is the tricky bit, arguably. <laughs> we have to maneuver ourselves round to the top left hand side of the drill. Coal, coal but resort. what we're looking for are the words entity on ground or item on ground. And would you look at that? We just found it. So, what we can do Red is desert. we can just drop the chest here on. and it will pick it up the pick up the item that's on the ground and then the drill can do its thing again. So we're gonna open our inventory. Inventory. Find the chest. Stone wooden chest X1 storage. Left click the chest. Empty slot. It's in our hand. Menu Close closed. our inventory. And drop the chest on the ground. And... Wooden chest container. Wooden chest container. And what do you know? The drill is wearing away again. So if we cycle to the chest, we're there. Red desert near a wooden chest. When we left click the chest. 16 output. 16 output. I mean, there's 16 slots for stacks. And coal X4. Coal X4. So that means we have four coal... Uh, and that will just keep Menu. filling itself up as long as it's got fuel. So it's mining the stuff underneath. And it is also receiving... Essentially, coal we've given it fuel. Coal, coal but we're going to have to possibly feed it again in a minute once the coal runs out. Which is slightly infuriating. But we can do that anyway, should we need to. But what about other resources? You know, so, you know, stone, your iron ore, things like that. Well, it works pretty much the same way. And uh, I won't go through the laborious process of showing you again how it works. I'll just show you where the recipe is to craft one of the burner drills. Inventory. So if we go into inventory, Crafting. craft, Light automation. Copper, copper and we scroll iron, around iron, this menu for a while. Insert, insert iron pipe, pipe, or co copper, pl cop, copper, boiler, burner, elect, burner, mining, drill, crafting, production, zero. So it says crafting, production, zero. That's because we don't have any other things to craft it with. If we press K. Iron plate X3, iron gear wheel X3, stone furnace X1. Now you could go and have a look and uh, find out what all of those things are. So if we burner, scroll up. Tra stone, small. Well, not all of those things are what they take to construct stone brick can only be automate iron 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 electro small the... stone brick travel burn elect off rip steep stone furnace craft. stone furnace press k which is also the key you use for coordinates stone x5 so stone we need five of those but we don't have Menu any of those closed. so we could stone send southeast we can actually go and make a furnace why not co co so let's co leave the mining co drill co doing its thing and that is actually let's check where that is that is Stone lamp, coal, water, iron ore, fifth, copper ore, we'll recognize if we switch to all instead of resources. Carrick, copper ore, crushed, crushed, tree, crushed, 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 iron, crushed, iron, crushed, 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 sand rock, crushed, crushed, more coal, water, one coat, tree, zero, night, stone, cliffs, fifth, and tree, zero, pet, fish, one, fun. Whoa, fish, I haven't seen that before. Red tree, tree, rock, tree, 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 Red coal, our drill. Coal, 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 the good thing is we know it's on this coal giant resource. coal seam. We can mine the stone from here, actually. So we've just been moving around the uh, the sort of rough area of our drill. There's no way to easily navigate back to that drill, unfortunately. And once again, this mod is in beta, so things will improve. So we check our inventory. Stone furnace X1. Wood coal X stone X8 raw resource. We already have a stone furnace. Menu. But if we wanted to make another one, which we will for the sake of this example, we're gonna inventory. Inventory. Craft. Copper burner in this iron pipe. Scroll along. Trapoid burner. Let lamp off. Repair steam engine. Stone furnace. Crafting production furnace. one. Crafting production one. So left click stone furnace crafting production zero. crafted menu close so now we can try and find our drill again as well see this is the only real issue getting ever so slightly lost burner mining drill 
chest container, so we're going to left click after cycling through. Mining things. And if we check the fuel in the drill. One output. One fuel. Colex four. So it's still it's still gonna need more fuel in a minute. And we'll we'll show how that works in a second once it semi inevitably runs out. So if I go back in to check it. One output, one few, co co three. So you can see that's going down periodically over time. You can get devices and things later that will automatically, you know, feed fuel into things. But I haven't got, this, got to that stage yet. Uh, suffice it to say, I have managed to set up two drills uh, and managed to make those work independently. Uh, as in, they don't sort of feed each other, they will essentially just keep you know spitting out items as long as there's fuel in them but they are both for different things so one mines into a chest for uh, for coal and one mines into a chest for copper i believe or it could be iron one of the two um i did intend to set one up for stone but the trouble is the stone was a massive amount of distance away so that fuel should nearly be up one output one few co colex one menu yep. closed so we give it a little time and then we'll refill it but the idea being you would craft, you would put a furnace down. I might quickly show how to do that, actually. Wooden chest can tie lock your tie so lock your chest. Coal burn, tie lock your pipe. Wood tie lock. Tie Let's burn, move a little coal resource, coal resource. to here. Let's move a little out of the way here. Coal resource. We're going to Inventory. place down Wood stone furnace one of our stone machine. furnaces. We have two of those. We don't need the other one really yet. We're going to left click. Empty menu closed. Close and left click again. Stone furnace Just furnace. drop it on the ground. And now this works Let's similarly Stone furnace. to the drill. So we left click the furnace after cycling to it. Cannot place that there. Okay, um, that means we've got something in our hand. We're going to press Q, which seemingly puts stuff back in our inventory, from what I understand. Stone furnace. Uh, I could be incorrect on that, and I apologize if I am either incorrect now or when the mod uh, is updated and tweaked to allow for extra functionality stone so we're going to left click the stone furnace one output so it has one output empty one fuel one fuel one input one input em empty slot. zero modules zero burn zero modules recipe. zero burn recipe which will crash the game if i try and activate it which i'm not going to do player inventory player inventory so stone for will collect one raw resource it needs stone X, three fuel raw copper or x empty slot copper or x ten raw resource and it needs uh copper or well copper or iron or any of the other uh, resources that you can smelt into new materials. So we're going to take resource. our copper ore, we're going to left click. Oh. Empty slot. Yeah, output. it worked. There we go, didn't announce it. One fuel, and one we're going to put that into the input. Copper ore X10. There we go, and we're going to leave that alone for the moment to show that you don't have to do it all in one turn. Menu close. We're going to close the inventory. Tie lock, tie lock. Leave that Coal there for a minute. Coal stone furnace furnace. Co 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 red red bender red co 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 This is the only problem, and I apologise for the potential agony of this. Coal resource crash 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 site resources all. Carry coal zip carry co co red red bender red 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 coal co 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 tie lock your maybe I should have just done it red red co 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 tie lock there we go found it so wooden chest container so we're going to refill the drill wooden chest uh with this fuel anyway so let's go into the chest output co co lex fifty take one of these stacks with a left click empty slot close the chest coal co 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 tie lock your pipes Coal, burn, tie lock, coal, back burn, of the mining, drill. Drill, mining drill. We're going to cycle two said drill. Red burner mining drill. Left click. One output, one fuel. One fuel. Left click. Coal X50. And the drill is working again. Menu closed. So we're going to close our coal inventory. Co 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 coal coal we're going to co take coal burner mining wooden chest container. an extra stack out of here for our furnace. For our fuel. Inventory. Oh no, I have pressed Menu the wrong closed. button. Red, red, wooden chest. So wooden chest. Out. Co empty slot. Coal X39. Emp coal X39 is okay for the test run. Actually, we can wait for that stack to fill up. Coal X41. 41. So I'm in the inventory. The sounds have quietened down a little. And Coal X42. 42 is going at a reasonable rate of speed. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, if anybody has any questions about this mod, about the game, anything like that, feel free to let me know as well. There will be details for how to download the mod and buy the game because the demo version unfortunately doesn't work with the mod because the tutorials are seemingly hard coded which is unfortunate 
but there are spec well, spec not speculations there are ideas in development of how to make a tutorial that is workable and playable M -Cole -X as well. So coal 50, we're going to click the stack. Menu so we've got it in our hand. Close the Cole chest. Stone lock. Cole stone furnace, furnace. The furnace, which is actually just Cole above where Cole the drill and the chest furnace, are, furnace. at least in my uh, mind map of, of the area. So we're going to cycle furnace. to the furnace. One click. Output. One output. One fuel. One fuel empty slot. Which is where we need to put the coal, so we're going to left click. Collective menu closed. And now you can hear a sort of grinding noise. Which is the uh, the ore being smelted. So let's go to... I thought i seen... How far the... Oh, we've got iron ore here. Let's, let's mine some of that while we wait. And then we'll put some iron ore in, make some plates, and then that'll be it. I'll show how that works. But it'll be pretty much the same way as what we've just done. But we can mine this while all of our other operations are going on, which is great. This is the sort of game I've always wanted to play and have, you know, a good time in. Play start to finish. Uh, maybe even consult on as well, co 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 you know, amongst all the other types of games I enjoy. Co I because we need more chill games. Co co we need more co co relaxing co games as well. Co 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 you know, non-competitive, just building or, you know, ma not management. Management's the wrong... Well, this is management, technically. But relaxing games that don't require 15,000 inputs a second and, uh, you know, extreme amounts of... Uh, focus at any one time that then can distract you from you know conversation or whatever i don't know uh, but I, I love games like the the idea of games like this interests me uh, because i've never been able to play one and then this came along let's put the stuff into the furnace while it's here so actually yeah we'll wait we'll wait until it stops let's see how it's going on so copper plates they're in there. Empty so slot. we're going to click the copper plates, go to our inventory with tab. One few, one in, zero, zero recipe, player inventory. And then click. And now... Those copper plates are now in our inventory. Iron ore, stone X, iron ore X, 13 and raw then resource. we can take our iron ore 13. Output. One fuel, one in, empty emp, slot. Put that in the input. Iron ore X, 13. Zero, zero rest, Scroll player over output. to the... One fuel. fuel. Co -co -lex Just to double check it's got enough fuel. It definitely has. Menu closed. Co -co 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 the good thing is we can run round. If I've got this right. Stone Co -co stone we can mine some of this while we're here. This is the good thing. You can be doing stuff while your drills are doing stuff. Co -co -co and your furnace is doing stuff. There we go. So you can hear the drills and the industrial very faintly off to our right. Which is roughly how I've been getting back to it without checking the coordinates. It's not an ideal solution, but it works. Let's, oh, hold on. Let me see if I can show the flying text. Hang on. Oh, I'm not quite sure how you get it to trigger, but I know I've managed to do it. Let's hold it down for a little longer. Flying text, flying text. There you go. There's the flying text. <laughs> I rather like that myself. So let's run up to stone resource. Roughly and then we want to zero player inventory. furnace X. stone iron ore X. Output one one input. Iron ore X. Zero player out. One one input. Iron ore iron ore X. Ten. Zero player out. One fuel. Coal X. Forty eight. Let's exit our inventory now. By way of demonstration, I'm going to turn my screen reader's rate up. Rate for rate forty. So from 30 to 90. So I can now double check. So 
So we've got the iron plate. Player inventory. Player inventory. Click that. That's gone. Now we can craft inventory. things with iron plates. Let's craft. Yeah, iron plate uh, times eight. So let's craft one. And let's craft. Let's say we need an iron gear wheel. So it needs two iron plates. Let's craft three. There we go. And now say we needed those four future items we have those in our inventory yeah so we have uh, there we go there's the iron chest and uh one one i pressed l there that is the size of said chest which is uh, useful to know for storage space and uh, organization i suppose but with that being said uh the process kind of scales up from there i've been trying to plug things into power networks and i can't quite figure it out yet but rest assured i can do a future video on that if that is of interest but i hope this introductory video on factorio has been enlightening and insightful enough to start you off and get you interested in just how this works because i tell you what i am absolutely loving this game it is very relaxing highly addictive and very much a taxing prospect when you're thinking how do i put this hang on i'm gonna put my my internal uh monologue type filter on for this just the how do i put this in there and how do i then make the other thing <laughs> that's kind of the thought process that goes through your head but in any case with that being said if you want to see more factorio content including a potential live stream which i do plan to do to maybe show this off and answer questions live please do let me know if there's other content you'd like to see questions you'd like to see answered say in an sk talks video or a you know a, an edited uh, piece on say parsec to demonstrate how that works do please let me know uh, parsec being the software we use for collaboration so genissary db and i will use that as part of our collaborative process amongst other people as well uh, but in any case all that remains for me to say is I've been Sightless Combat. Have a great rest of your day, whatever time it is in your part of the world, whatever time it is where you are. Stay safe, take care. I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.